ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Um, not much has happened since last episode. Uh, last episode, basically, Dandry, uh, well, we went here to, uh, this apothecary shop and made some potions and sold a whole bunch of potions. We actually, uh, broke the, uh, well, the apothecary, and they're out of money. And now, we're going to finally climb High Herothgar. And we're going to proceed about that quickly because I don't want to be arrested for, uh, act for vampire slaying or something. Stupid like that. So, away we go! Vampire hearts or something in the old fort near Rift. I'd consider joining up myself. Well, have fun with that, dude. You're might most likely going to be arrested by the Rift and Guard for uh, vampire slaying. That's what happened last time I went back fighting vampires. Well, uh, if you well, I'm not gonna count them, Phil. Feel free if you want to count <laughs> and see, but. I'm just gonna walk up, run up them. Alright, etch tablet, eh? What do we got here? Emblem 1. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all of Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Okay, that sounds impressive. Alrighty. Uh, we have a dead goat here. That's not a promising sign. Then again, I know Clemex said there were only wolves up the path, but I also, if I'm remembering correctly, which I might not be, I do believe I saw a giant spider climbing up the path as he was saying that, so, um... Oh, and, uh, I probably, uh, something you guys would have already noticed, but yeah, I have changed Andre into his cold weather I am so glad that you're here for me to track down my flute. We mustn't forget to ask around for it among Kaid's bards and innkeepers. I'll try and remember, Phil. Shall we count the steps? Uh, feel free. I'm not going to. Uh, who are you, and what are you doing up here? Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Uh, will do. Um, what are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along Aren't the way. Aren't you dressed a little, um, coolly for uh, doing that? So, do you uh, go off high enough up to meet the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. They're the sort but to invite them. But I never them go there. that high up the path anyway. Okay. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. Okay. Hi. All right. We got another uh, etch tablet. Emblem two. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. I'm imagining they're talking about this, uh, voice thing that, um, you know, the whole shout thing, not, uh, less about the ability to talk, and that goat just died. Uh, I'm gonna drop a quick save. Alright, in case we die here. That's a saber cat. Looks like he's on the path. Uh, that doesn't look like I could go around him that way. Unless I'm sure about my footing. Kill it. 
sidan. There we go. I'm not a complete milk drinker anymore. Okay. Okay. That might have been a little cruel to the animal kingdom here, but, uh... Yeah. Wait a minute. Leg of goat? Oh! Right, that's from Sky Test. The leg of goat is in that thing's stomach. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me while I don't extract a uh, partially digested goat out of a saber cat's stomach. Wolves! Yay! I love wolves. Ow! Alright, alright. Yeah, just a couple of wolves. Yeah. Oh, it started snowing. Uh, le excuse me while I put on my fur hood. Oi, oi, oi. Wow. Aside from the slightly glitched textured trees in the distance, this is absolutely beautiful. Looks like we got another of those emblem things. And an offering bowl. You know, a less scrupulous person would happily just run off with the offerings, but I'm not going to do that. Emblem 3. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war, war with dragons and their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Yes? I know, there's probably, uh, thinking about it, there's somebody in the audience uh, who's uh, going, less scrupulous person. I've seen plenty of occasions where uh, <laughs> uh, Dandry's been mischievous. Uh, but, uh, you know, one, he doesn't feel like it's right to steal, go run off with the offerings. And two, there's nothing much there to run off with in the first place. Looks like an ancient Nordic tower in the distance over there. What's there? You make me what can I do like that? Keep an eye on the road, or you might trip and fall. Uh... Thank thank you, Vilja. I'll try not to run backwards as often, okay? Got somebody else who's uh up a security for the people. Okay. Culture. Tell you what. They don't even know about good Nord cultural traditions. Have that on table. Well, uh, neither do most and Nords. Security. Uh, if actually. I'm not completely mistaken. Uh, thank you, tutorial pop-up from uh, uh, Frostfall. It was the Imperial Legion who wanted to chop your head off in Helga. Yeah. <laughs> she does make a good point. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. Uh, so who I... are you? And just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that if you don't mind. Fair enough. Fair enough. So what are you doing up here anyway? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Okay. Good day. Why? I don't exactly understand why you do such a thing. Emblem 4. Kine called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. That the dragon war, ra ra dragon war raged. Dragon against tongue. Huh. huh? I wonder what this Parthenax fella or creature was. I know, there's going to be a whole bunch of people in the comments typing it out right now, uh, you know, who Parthenax is. Don't worry, I know. Dandry here doesn't. So that's, uh, why I'm saying it like that. Uh, now, usually, uh, out of character, there's a troll up here, so I'm gonna drop a quick save, and... 
Now, Dandry has no reason to do that, but then again, Dandry doesn't, uh, probably wouldn't be aware of the whole quick save function, so, either. Did you uh, hear that noise? Yeah, I'm there's the a troll. Actually, there's a whole... Uh, that does actually seem like something Gantry would go collect. Troll fat is, uh... Well, yeah, trolls exist in numerous provinces, and uh, troll fat is usually the ingredient most go for in harvesting, so... Etch tablet number five. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world. Proving for all, that their voice, too, was strong, although their sacrifices were many for them. Huh. You know, Vilja, it would seem the, uh, light out along the path here, uh, to High Hrothgar, it, uh, tells the story, or at least a brief summary of the story of the Dragon War. Kind of interesting. Okay, okay, we're gonna need to see about getting a fire going. Um, here's a quick question. Did I get firewood? No, because I'm an idiot! Um, well. Well, uh, survival skills. How about you see about harvesting some firewood, uh, Dandry? Eight pieces of firewood. Okay, excellent. Um, let's see about starting a, uh, build campfire. I haven't really done that much of this in this game, uh, uh this playthrough so far. Alright, add six firewood. Hopefully, I don't need any shelter and I can just huddle near this fire and get warm. Otherwise, I'm going to basically have to set up a small camp in order not to freeze to death here. Okay, cool. I'm, uh, I, looks like, uh, all I need to do is huddle near a fire here for a while, and then we'll continue our way up. Actually, thinking about it, what time is it? Uh, about noon. Okay. Okay, the heat from the fire keeps you from getting any colder. Okay, I am going to need to set up the, uh, fur tent, aren't I? Pitch fur tent. <coughs> um, there we go. Okay, might not be perfect, but it should prevent us from freezing to death. Whew. Hopefully. Looks like we're warming up. Wow. It's moments like this that really do sell Skyrim to me. I know, it's not quite realistic, but it does kind of add to the story. Ah, cool. We're starting to, uh, warm up. Yeah, those of you on the video, uh, might notice there's a little bit of a black seam around this, uh, fire here. You guys might not be able to see it, but, uh, um, uh, I can. And I've had this for quite a while in my game, but I've never been able to figure out what's causing that. So, well, if any, basically, if any of you guys have an idea what that's causing that, uh, feel free to let me know. Alright, let's pack this back up. Wait a minute, is that a cave up there? Alright, uh, first, let's destroy the campfire, but... Um, 
built yet. Is there a cave? Yeah, there is a cave up here. Huh. Yeah, windswept alcove. Let's, uh, well, drop a quick save and poke our heads in. But first, armor up. Candlelight in case it's dark. And flames in case we meet something on immediately on the other side. Strange. Like that. Yeah. Get your mission on, Bill. Okay. Huh. Ow. Huh. So it's just literally just an alcove. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, in case, those of you may be wondering what this is about. This is from the uh, mod Hidden Hideouts of Skyrim, which adds throughout Skyrim these little places like this, caves and whatnot, which you can use as, well, hideouts or player homes. Uh, I've selected the version of the mod, which means you have to set it up yourself, to set them up yourselves as a hideout. Whoop! And, uh, wrong key. But we are going to harvest some troll fat. Not sure what exactly I can do with that, though. Alright, so... Uh, we'll have to keep that in mind next time we're heading, uh, down. Well, we're heading down, actually. What's this? Emblem 6, I believe. With roaring tongues, the sky children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst dragons withdrew from the world. Like a ultra dangerous, ultra cold museum tour. This isn't it, Phil? And we got another one here. And okay, um, let's look. doesn't seem that secure to me, but let's have a look. See at it. Emblem Seven. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humble. Jürgen Windcaller began his seven-year meditation to understand how strong voices could... Uh, seven years? Um, I think the answer, dude, uh, either is one, the Dark Elves beat you with clever tactics, or two, your, your strong voices were simply not strong enough. And it took you seven years to figure out that that will. It took me seven seconds. Some wise guy he was, or wise man he was. Anyways, more like a wise guy. <laughs> Emblem eight. Jürgen Windcaller chose silence and returned. The seventeen disputants could not shout him down. Jürgen the calm built his home on the throat of the world. Okay. Hmm. If it weren't snowing, you probably could see quite a bit from here. At there's Bleak Falls Barrow there, which means yeah, River Woods down there. I think White Run should be about there. I think you can see Dawnstar from over... Oh, is over there. You can barely make it out. And... Solitude's up there. What if you... Whoa. Kinda cool. In more than one sense of the word, eh? Huh. A statue of... Talos, or Tiber Septum. What we got here? Emblem Nine. For all year, for all four years, all silent. The Greybeard spoke one name. 
Tiber Septim, stripling then, was summoned to High Hrothgar. They blessed him and named him Dovaki. Huh. So that was the last. So he was the last man who was summoned. Being called Dragonborn. Huh. That was uh, well over a thousand years ago. Now I'm taking it this whole Dragonborn thing is very, very rare. Huh. I don't want to nag about it, but it would be great if we could soon go to the Bogenborn cave. I really need it. Really, Veltra? Here I am with trying to enjoy the sort of epicness and momentous uh, occasion that it is, and you're nagging me about mu uh, bleeding mushrooms. Literally bleeding mushrooms. Uh. Oh. Wow. You know what? I counted all the stars. Really? There weren't 7,000 at all. Rather 700. Really? You made me feel cheated. Huh. Well, 700 steps doesn't sound as impressive as 7,000, so, uh, yeah. Let's see, Etch Tablet, Emblem 10, The Voices Worship, Follow the Inner Path, Speak Only in True Need. Voice of the Sky added, I forget, what does that do? An E, let's get inside before we freeze, but... For the next twenty, uh, for the next day, animals will neither attack nor flee from you. That would have been useful on the way up here. All right, potion of cure disease. I think I'm going to need that more than you guys are. And besides, I'm leaving behind some food for you guys, so. Well, that is uh, quite impressive stonework. I wonder what that's supposed to be. Nice and warm in here, though. Hello? So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Um, you call me dragonborn. What does that mean exactly, though? First, let us see if you truly are dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Um, taste of my what? Um, could you explain that a bit better? I cast with the power of your voice. Oh, you want me to, oh, uh, shout at you. Um, okay, um, FOOSH! Foos! Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Could you speak up? I can I am Master here. Andrew. That's better, thank you. I speak for the Greybeards. Okay. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Well, I kind of want to find out what this... Well, but first off, who are you, and what exactly is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. Okay. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the Voice of the Sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Okay. Um, I'm act basically why I'm here, though, is to find out what this whole Dragonborn business is about. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. So you mean I'm not the only Dragonborn then? You are not the first. 
There have been many of the dragon blood. Yeah, that's a stupid line. If you're not paying attention, yeah, you might kind. think you're the only dragon Whether lord, you but if you're dragon dragon paying enough attention, you'll know that, that the founder of ours. the empire, no. Tiber Septim, you are the was, only one is that dragon has born, been revealed so. thus far. Yeah. That is all I can say. Sometimes the lines in this uh, game uh, are a little frustrating. Well, I'm mastering your summons. Um, Master. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. My what me? What is my destiny? That, that is for you to discover. Of course. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Uh, of course not. Why would every... Well, <laughs> anything be uh, easy. Well... I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Yeah, that well, I'm willing see. to try. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune, a shout. Okay. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Definitely willing. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. Okay, is that what I've All been doing? All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. So there's more master than Einar what I figured will now out. Teach you roll, the second word in unrelenting force. Uh, thank you. Uh, could you speak up? If it weren't for the text dialogue, I couldn't, uh, the subtitles, I couldn't, wouldn't know what you're saying. Whoa. Can I learn to do that? That's kind of cool. I can't hear you over the, uh, uh, the epic music. I'm learning a word of power. In order to use it in a shout. Okay, that well, makes kind of sense. Of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge Is directly. Is that what I do As part did of to your that dragon then? Master Einar will allow you to tap into his understanding of role. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Kind of freaky, but kind of cool. Okay. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Targets? Okay, where are they going? Oh, there! Okay. Yeah. Well done. Again. Well, I've already demonstrated I can do it. I'm not sure what the point of me doing it three times it is gonna do. You learn quickly. Uh, or I Once suppose more. it might be just a demonstrate, uh, me Ye demonstrating it wasn't a fluke. I got it uh, right the first time. Uh, sorry. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon Ball. Thanks. Although we you guys are do doing a bit of uh, lack project. of... Uh, Follow Master Boy. Uh, Master Bori. Uh, I guess the guy who's leaving them. Um, you guys aren't doing a great job of explaining anything to me. You're just testing me at the moment. Although it doesn't seem like they have any complaints about Filja being in here, so... Or, if they do have any complaints, they haven't actually stated them. So I'm going to assume they don't. Still cold, still snowing. Uh. We will now see how you learn a completely new shot. Master Bori will teach you wood. 
which means whirlwind. Okay. Okay. Am I gonna learn this at some point? Because that is awesome. I hear wood. Which could be horribly misinterpreted. Okay, that's still a little freaky, but... I gotta say, it almost beats uh, re uh, reading it in a book. Almost. Andrew would still prefer reading it, uh, figuring out stuff by reading it in a book. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Okay. Master Bori. X. Wolf. Now your turn. All right. Stand next to me. Master I'm Bori here. will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through. Seems basic enough. Oh, wow, that is cool. Oh, yeah, this is totally not going to Dantry's head at all. Nope, not at all. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely going to his head. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Uh, I really don't know how I do it, to be brutally honest. It, ju it just sort of happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. Uh, th th that kind of worries me. They tend to be uh, best to use metal it. in things you are now that ready for your aren't last their business. Final. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder from his tomb in the ancient uh, plain of Ostengraf. Remain true so to the way of the go voice. go fetch something and come back. <sighs> so, who was this Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great you said he was your founder, the but that's North, about all I know, really. Master of the voice, or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally uh, he came to realize the that the Dark gods had one. punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. That could be he one interpretation. Understand or you could interpret that the Dark Elf gods were backing them a bit and more. worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Okay. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery That's of the your voice view. eventually overcame all opposition and the way of the voice. Was born. So, what exactly is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kimirith at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Okay, but I don't really follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? The then? Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The okay. dragon blood itself is a gift cool. of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. Really? We therefore seek huh. to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Okay. So... Why exactly? No one's actually bothered to explain this to me so far. Why are these shouts in the Dragon's language anyways? Dragons have always been able to shout. Okay. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. Okay. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted ah. us the ability to speak as dragons do. 
For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. Really? But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood. Huh. And you learn it almost without effort. You know, Sis is never going to believe this if I tell her. As she. So, what exactly does it mean to be dragonborn, then? Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. Okay. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down uh, through so the far centuries. it's been a what curse. What already learned so in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Mm. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. Uh, we will if that's speak true, more I'm that gonna be kind of worried. When you are ready. About the day, uh, day, <laughs> the days and months to come, then. So, why exactly are the dragons returning? And does it have anything to do with me? Uh, just wondering. No doubt, the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return Lovely. of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice. And soon, your path will be made clear. Thanks. But surely there's more you can tell me. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand. Of course. Do That's not what let my your old, easy uh, mastery of the voice <laughs> tempt uh, you into sorcerer, the arrogance of uh, power. Wizard teacher, uh, that has been the downfall of many dragonborn before you. Okay. Well, well, that's me. Can I come with you, just okay? Sure. So I can't imagine I'm going sure anywhere really easy. without you, Bill. Well, that's made things a little bit clearer. A little bit. Wait a minute, Velja. I just realized something. We have those books we are supposed to get to for the College of Winterhold, and we gotta get them back! Oh no, we're gonna get a late fee if we don't get them back! 